Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a formed sheet metal feature. I'm going to call a dimple, but that it has open sides. So the feature looks like this. If you're not familiar, it's going to be like a depression with open sides. So involve a cut and some sort of a shape. So before I get into it, I want to thank my colleague and give him some props, Dan. He and I talked about this uh, after I had created a potentially overly elaborate solution involving trigonometry, which was super fun and all based off a single sketch. But Dan's solution is actually based off two sketches and is definitely going to be more simple to apply. So great idea, Dan. Maybe in the future I'll share with you my awesome trigonometry idea. But for those who don't feel like doing trig, let's go ahead and dive into this example. So to save a little bit of time, I'm going to go kind of quick and I'm going to gloss over a few things. For example, I'm not going to take a normal length of time I sometimes do to explain things. I'm going to go kind of quickly, not creating parameters ahead of time, etc. So to start, I'm going to go ahead. I've already created the plate. I'm going to create a sketch on the top. And I'm also going to utilize my two point center rectangle mapping that just to save myself some time, I remap that. And I'll go ahead and say, length of three, width of one, and I'm just gonna create these parameters on the fly. And before we get out of here, a couple of things that are very important. Number one, we want to make sure we grab this point and ensure that it's a center point format so we can place the sheet metal punch. And then I wanna emphasize that everything else that we're gonna do, the second sketch plane we're gonna to generate to create the profile is all going to be based on this geometry. So I'll go ahead and finish my 2D sketch. <clears throat> and before I get too crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and set the stage for my section plane here where I'm gonna create the shape and extrude it the width of the slot. So in this case, I'm gonna go normal to axis through a point. And again, I'm gonna make sure I'm only using the sketch plane or point, uh, sketch line, sorry, and then this point to form the plane. Now I could create the sketch now but just to show you a couple of tricks on how to apply that, I'm gonna actually do the cut, hit okay, then we'll create the sketch. So when we're working in the sketch, don't be afraid to orbit, that can make life a little easier. And I'm gonna project some geometry. And when I project the edges, you wanna make sure that you're grabbing the curve. One clue to know if you got it right is it should just project a single point versus a crosshair or a center mark. And when I go to get the other side, you see how it wants to grab the edge. So I select the curve. Cool. So it'll just be relatively simple geometry, creating a line. I'll frame it out and then we can add dimensions later, like so. Can uh, hold down the control key and right click, do an equal. Ooh, I did not mean for those to be perpendicular. <laughs> Whoops. So I'm gonna delete that, there we go. But I do want them to be equal, it's okay. Sometimes that happens. And I'm going to offset those so that we can uh, get the final shape. And of course, since this is sheet metal, we're gonna just use the thickness. And then I'll go ahead and tune these up by drawing the lines. So once we've got that, now we can go ahead and apply whatever other dimensions we need. So uh, we should, let's see what we have here. We should need a depth. So I'll grab a depth here to this point. Make sure we grab just that point. That'll be awesome. We'll call this depth equals, let's say 0.5. And then we can see, oh my, those perpendiculars did not go well. So we have to apply some perpendiculars from there to there and from there to there. So we should be good now. Now, of course, um, if we wanted to make sure we have everything, I think we're set up. This is horizontal. Yeah, I think we're good. Zoom in. It's always good to double check, just making sure. So that's perpendicular, that one. I don't know if I want that perpendicular. I'm trying to think what that would be perpendicular to. Yeah, okay. So. This is a good note. See, these two are perpendicular to each other. I don't actually want that because I may want to come in here. So I delete that and then we'll go ahead and apply a dimension here. And I'll just call this uh, width. 
bottom. Oh, helps if you say it's equal to something, Pete. So we'll say that's equal to two. There we go. Now we've got that fully controlled. We're happy with that. We can finish the sketch and then we can extrude that. So if you don't see the option here, you can hit the E key. You can always come up here to grab the 3D model as well. Grab your shape. We're gonna extrude it bi-directionally and we already have the width. So that is the main ingredient there. We've got the feature formed. Now we can extract it as an eye feature. Of course you should save it, right? And I've talked about this in other videos on eye features and punches. Make sure you save it. Um, <clears throat> as a, I, and I, I would recommend saving a library of not just the features, but the base models you use to generate the features if you have to go back and figure it out. But like I said, to save a smidge of time, we're gonna grab the cut. We're gonna grab the extrusion and now we're like, dang it, we've got two selections. The only reason that is, is because we have to grab the work plane. So once we grab that work plane, it knows it's based off the sketch. Now we're all set. So we have back to that singular point. We can qualify this as a sheet metal punch because our sketch has a center point. You can give it whatever ID you want. Open dimple simplified or something like that, if you can spell. And then if you want to, you could, of course, do a sketch. I'll grab the design sketch. And let's go ahead and just, uh, yeah, you could right click. I mean, there's a bunch of other things we can do. I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. We'll call this um, open dimple. Yep, go ahead and save it. There we have it. And so just to show you what it ends up being like, we'll create another sketch on here. We can apply a few of those points. Oop, there we go, got hung up there for a second. Finish the sketch. And then if we apply the punch tool, uh, oops, I didn't save it in the punch location, but no biggie, grab the open dimple. You can see it'll put those in. And just like everything else, you know, we could have put limits on here, lists, values, etc. but that's how we would create that. Dimple, and there you have it. So relatively straightforward, as long as you tie everything back to that initial design sketch, it should be just as easy to place it as a normal sheet metal punch would be. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.